Well, today I'm back at the workshop and I'm going to clean up all the reflective tape and old paint that accumulated on the door frames. The idea is that hopefully I'll be able to add some weather stripping. Scraping the old paint with a scraper was not exactly something I felt like doing, so somewhere in this mess that is accumulating rather quickly inside this box, there was a tool that would be perfect. And this is the tool that I was after. The coarse grit on this sanding disc was going to make short work of all that old paint. Next, and we're gonna go right there. Uh -huh. nice that looks nice see anything nice is good for you because you get paid for nice things let's see what it looks like from the inside squeak children of the night what music they make welcome let's try that again I think that's gonna leak, not over there. Oh, that's fantastic. Good purchase. Now we can do the bottoms. stuff. Or oh, I got a sharp one on my knife. Oh yeah, see it hits. Mm-hmm. It's more professional than I'm used to. So now with most of the weather stripping done, I've turned my attention to the top of the door. And you can see there's a space. Can you see my eyes? <laughs> Anyways, um, I decided uh, maybe I could reuse what was on the bottom of the roll-up door. The lowermost part that I took off of this trailer had this weather stripping on it that I just had to keep, even though I had a devil of a time getting it off of here. It's all worth it though, I think, as I kept this and a whole bunch of other hardware from the 
old door. The shape of that though, so it's kind of curvy on the bottom. I couldn't quite figure how I could attach it to the truck body. Um, I thought about squishing it kind of like this. See like that? If I screwed it to the truck body, like from here into that lip right there, it would create a sweep. Um, I was kind of okay with that. I didn't like the idea of water pooling up behind it, although it would probably just run off either way. Uh, but I have some extra of this stuff, and I figured I could just stick it to the top. It's not really cool that the door is going to be sweeping left and right across this but you know it should be smushed like this instead of like that but it's so pliable and it fits in there so nice I think it'll actually hold up to some years of service I have enough left over for a reapplication if I have to and by stripping the paint off of the top like I did the sides all I gotta do is peel and stick and there's no hardware no drilling into the truck or anything so Seems like the easy solution, which is usually the best. So what I'm gonna have, just like I've got here, up there. And hopefully that will uh, almost complete the weather stripping with the exception of this, but we'll get to that in just a minute. There's the uh, leather stripping. Now, when I close the door, I'm wondering if it'll just tear it off or it'll slide under. I'll give that 3M a good press. Hopefully it stays. Let's see. That's it. Huh? It seems to have worked. Let's see what it looks like on the outside. The only part up here that wasn't looking good was some more paint that still needed to be removed. But now that can be done whenever. There was no rush to get that done. Mm -hmm. The important bits of keeping the weather out from inside this trailer seemed to me like for the most part they were done. I think eventually I want to put an awning above the doors. There's some track on the side of this. I think it was to hold banners for like advertising and stuff. You see this track right here? Uh, one of these days, when I get the insert that slides into that and some canvas, one of these days, I don't know, it might be a long time from now, but the idea was to build a deck here in front of the doors, some steps coming down, and an awning that goes over the doors so that I can keep the doors open even if it's raining out, like lightly. You know, if it's blowing rain, obviously I'll shut the doors, but, or if the weather's foul, but. <laughs> I think we're onto something here. It's pretty good. Now, what we gotta do is wait for the rain and see whether or not it works. I kept telling myself then, and I still do now that all I gotta do is this or that, <laughs> when in reality there is a ton of stuff to do. But we'll save some of that for the next video. We'll show the rain and talk about how the weather stripping worked and turn my attention towards those steps and maybe a way to lock these doors. Thanks for coming along everybody. See you in the next one.